Hello everyone, welcome back to my Avocadorables. Today we're diving into the newest update for Pet Simulator X, the Comet update. So let's dive in and see what this update has to offer. There will be comets randomly raining down and crashing from the sky. This event will resemble the previous huge black lucky block event, and the comets will crash at the spawn area. You can get two free huge pets from that comet, namely huge comet agony and huge comet cyclops. I will create another video with more details about this event when it arrives. Huge pets and titanic pets now have a new value system called RAP, short for recent auction prices. These values come from the average price at which they have been sold on the auction on the trading plaza in real time. The new leaderboard system is now based on the RAP value of players' pet inventories, instead of pet power. This means that players with higher RAP values will be ranked higher on the leaderboard. As a result, expensive huge pets are likely to become even more expensive, while cheaper huge pets may become cheaper. This is because players on the leaderboard may sell their lower value huge pets and use the proceeds to purchase higher value ones, in order to increase the wrap value of their inventory. Let's head to the trading plaza to check out some more updates. Let's take some of my huge pets from the bank and see if it changes my wrap value. As you can see, the wrap value used in the leaderboard is based only on the pets in my inventory. The pets in my bank are not counted towards the wrap value. The game has implemented a new tax system for pets sold in auction, where 5% of the gems earned will be deducted as tax. However, this tax is only applicable for pets sold in auction and not for pets sold in booth. Now, when you click on your friend's profile to join them, you will join them directly. Previously, if they were in the trading plaza or the hardcore area, you would be redirected to a normal server instead of joining them. With this update, you can join them directly in the trading plaza or hardcore area, which is a great improvement. I'm not sure whether this is a good update or not. With these changes to the leaderboard, it will now show who the richest player in the game is instead of who has the strongest pets. The previous leaderboard system also required players to be rich, but there were other strategies to get to the top. Now it seems more like a pay-to-win leaderboard. However, I personally never really went after the leaderboard, so I'm not quite sure whether this is good update or not. What do you think? That's it for our look at the Comet update in Pet Simulator X. We hope you enjoyed learning about all the new features and additions to the game. Remember to keep an eye out for more updates. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell and leave a like, and be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.